all of our life, cancer, uh, heart attacks. And then the third leading cause of death, believe it or not, is going to the doctor. Medical errors. We're being put on so many prescription pills today. They're just throwing these pills at people that, you know, cure a headache, but make you think about suicide as a side effect. I mean, it's crazy. That's a video. Okay. Okay. Okay, Tim. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Trigger warning. Um, <laughs> I need to put a trigger warning. Uh, the word is unalive for YouTube purposes, Tim. And uh, yeah, that totally went in a direction that we did not expect. But anyway, uh, yeah, let me just uh, point out over here, Tim, just a quick fast fact with you um, before we <laughs> delve any faster down into that rabbit hole. The um, seems that our leading causes of death here, and let me make me small, uh, so look at this. We've got it heart disease, cancer, uh, accidents, uh, COVID 19, uh, also known as the Panini. I'm about to get every part of my channel, uh, demonetized today. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> so, yeah, let me get out my fair use disclaimers before I go any further here, uh, and get myself really into trouble with YouTube. <laughs> So, yes, just to let you know, um, obviously, I'm going to be using clips of Tim's videos and uh, making reaction, and therefore, it's transformative, and therefore, it is fair use. And just a disclaimer, even though I am a registered nurse, I am trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, which is why I'm kind of surprised at the first part of the language. I'm not treating or diagnosing anybody here this evening. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, I took a look at our good friend, Sarah Senator Tim's most recent uh, videos, and I'm going to share this tab instead and make this a little bit larger over here. And so, he is having some interesting times. I went to almost like make a video yesterday, and he had just the most basura content I had ever seen. And I don't want to say the other word because it's too controversial. But yes, it was terrible. And so I said to myself, I cannot even make even a compilation of what he has been up to because it was just so bad. It was so terrible. And uh, the results of the poll <laughs> that I had was, I think predominantly people believe that the butter incident uh, was staged, Tim. So the uh, results of my poll are, yeah, staged that one. And, uh, and after I watched it a number of times, I kept thinking he's fumbling with the butter. It must be staged. So yes, our friend Tim, who just had a video talking about collecting social security at 62, which is one of his all-time favorite topics, has now released another video of him looking at some more uh, liabilities in a parking lot. And we're going to go take a look at this. And we're actually going to speed them up to like 1.75 because I want to trop through this video quick. All right, Tim, take it away. Sarasota Tim, coming to you from the uh, Ford dealer up in Sarasota. And let me tell you something. Here we got a deal right here. Uh, these trucks are 90 grand. This one's 60. It's three quarter ton. It's a gasser. It's not diesel. It's got the trailer pack. Am I mistaken that Tim just bought a like a like a, a Honda car and the tundra is not very old. <laughs> Correct? Okay, just checking. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why this man's always in a car lot. Package. Uh white and black. Doesn't have the fancy uh grill on the front. It's called a super duty. 250, 6.7 or 6.8 liter V8. Mm, this is what it's got right here. You can scroll down slowly. Look for yourself. That's the price. Here's some of the options. Are you serious? You just skimmed over the price like that, Tim? Like you got money like that? You you, you don't even have a house? And you're looking at a... I'm going to have to scroll back on this one. Sorry, guys. I'm scrolling back. I don't usually scroll back, but we need to look at this price together a little bit closer because he skimmed over that. 
So basically 61,000 and they haven't even thrown in all the other stuff. I mean, you could potentially negotiate that down, but still, once they start adding in all the other things and you got 60, are you serious, Tim? You're on, <laughs> supposed to be a minimalist on social security and you're out looking at a $61,000 truck after you just got a call. You don't even own a home. What is the thinking? I mean, and he just put a video out about collecting social security, which I understand the math on that thing was completely wrong. Here's some of the options. I don't know if it says the gas mileage on here. And then you got the dealer sticker here, which is nothing. It's just all this garbage here means nothing. And what I'm looking at is, you know, it's got cloth seats, big old Super Duty. It's got these uh, tires and wheels on there. It's got some Bridgestones, and the size is uh, they're all terrain. It is a um, uh, size. All right, is, speed it up. You can read it. I'm gonna have to put you right at speed at this rate, Tim. You're I think that's it. What are we looking at? Tires. Anyway, Gee, tires. I guess it's four wheel drive. Oh. Got the trailer tow package there. It's got a uh, the seven point trailer uh, light there, backup camera. That's all locked up. Well, you need a bed. Huge for? Uh, lights inside the bed here. Power sliding rear window. Like well, this one's hundred grand. The big uh, big box on it. Crew crew cab crew max. Don't have a... So it looks like make that much money from you too. Cruise control and steering Honestly. wheel. I saw the trailer. Uh, Brake controller controller, you know, no leather and big console there. I think there's a, a power outlet in here somewhere. Let me see if it's on this side. Sorry, I apologize for talking over Tim. I'm just horror. I'm just anyway. I maybe he's just window shopping trucks, or I have no idea why he's out here looking at a Ford F two fifty. All I know is the people in his comment section were like, "Yeah." That's a good looking truck, Tim. And, you know, this, that, and the other kissing up to him as they do, as they do. But they might be needed to start sending him some packages to a prison. We're going to look at that very quickly at the end. Keep going, Tim. Um, quick videos. You can literally plug in something. I don't see it. 12 volts. Something there. That. What is this? Oh, my. Ah, interesting. Whatever that is. Okay. Expert. Big old side bumpers. These are uh, trailer mirrors with the towing lights on it. Big bold hood. I apologize if I'm snappy. <laughs> I've been uh, up since very early this morning and obviously at work all day. And then I come home and take Junebug, my dog, on a decent walk uh, in a local park. And I've come home and had dinner, and I'm sort of reaching close to my night time. So I'm feeling a little more tired, less, less able to deal with Tim. <laughs> front license plate's already on there, fog lights. The front license plate is mounted. The crusher. And it's a super duty, but it's not a diesel. These nice LED lights. Uh, the year is a... Uh, what does it say it is? 2024 F-250. Good Lord, you're making me seasick with right that there. camera. And <laughs> warranty is there. What does it say what kind of gas mileage it might get? It says this right here. Well, environmental it. protection. And the motor is a um, right there. 6.8 liter. Well, it should say city and city mile and highway. 10 speed automatic Somewhere. torque shifter. I don't guess it's a diesel. It's the STX. I think this is pretty much the entry level, which I think, uh, you know, I was like a loaded car, but I don't like a hundred grand. So this looks pretty good. I think it would tow the uh, crasher pretty good. It is uh, a gasser, right? That is not a diesel. It's got some trailer hitch on it. That's a I'm big boy. Person to say. Good thing I only got a 25 foot trailer. Because this right here has got to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
That's 18 feet. 18 to 20 feet. Right there. So 25. That's like 45 feet almost of trailer and truck. But that looks like that would really tow that trailer good. Man, what a truck. 2024 brand new. I think Super Duty would help it on its resale value. Like, I'll show you something. Come on down here. And you've got a... Oh, and it's four-wheel drive too, right? Is that four-wheel? Oh. oh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> I accidentally knocked my microphone over as I went to make a comment <laughs> about Tim. <laughs> and stop the video. So I apologize for that. Oh, goodness. I cannot tell if this is just Tim, uh, you know, fantasy shopping, or is he really, you know, in the serious market for another, you know, liability? I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. And it's always a brand new. It's never like a, a second hand that's already, you know, been driven off the lot and somebody's already paid for the loss of the value of the vehicle. His just everything, blind views said it, put a, some, or was it Darling? It was one of the channels, and I apologize if I'm getting it wrong. It might have been it, uh, blind views. It's like he looks so good on the outside, but it's all like trash on the inside. You know, it's all a facade. He's a facade. It's like Tim would be driving around town in a $61,000 truck. Now, you would think somebody driving a $61,000 truck, you know, I know there's negotiation, but let's just say for argument's sake, you would hope that the person would be fiscally responsible enough that they are already living in a paid for home, that they have a fully funded retirement, that they have sufficient assets that they can afford the liability of spending money on a brand new truck and dropping $61,000 on it. Tim is not this person. Tim is somebody who by just sheer utter luck and chance had managed so far to have gotten away with illegally securing an EIDL loan and a PPP loan. So there were two loans that he got during the Panini time that funded, and there was a video probably removed from his channel, but there's still a copy of it out there where he very clearly, and I've even remarked on this video before, talks about how he was able to get those loans. And Tim worked only for himself. So he had no employees. So the amount of monies that he's talking about that he was able to borrow or to get in order to sustain his business during this time of, you know, very tough times, it was a very large amount for somebody who was literally been going door to door selling oil change coupons. That was Tim's business. He had no employees. He was like, probably like a 1099 contractor that, you know, was kind of, you know, franchised himself out to do these coupon books. I don't think he really had, because I I remember these things all the time back in the day. They'd have them for pizza companies, sports balls, all sorts of stuff. So Tim, and then yet he secured tens of thousands of dollars in PPE loans, in EIDL loans. So combined, of which he purchased a liability because he bought various vehicles along the way and he changes them out like every year it's insane all right enough rambling keep going tim like i'll show you something come on down here that was the you got a oh and it's four-wheel drive too right is that four-wheel drive i don't need four-wheel drive it says it is well let's take a look underneath it's not a decal and I apologize for the laggy video. It's I'm I have all everything is wireless in my house. And supposedly that streamer does not like that. So yeah, anyway. Let's keep going, Tim. <laughs> I'll look underneath here. I like Fords over Chevys, I think. 
Oh, uh, come on. <clears throat> yeah, that's definitely four wheel drive, folks. Would you have not known it was a four wheel drive by just reading the information on the sticker <laughs> for the vehicle? <laughs> I'm confused. Maybe I just don't know enough about trucks. I mean, that's possible. So anyway, before we finish up this video, that was it. That was the content. And he only put out one other video today about that collecting the social security at 62, you know, one of his greatest hits, because what we need is Tim and his terrible math, because that's what I understand happened. Some of the comments, Tim disappeared somewhere today because Something has happened because he left up comments that are usually um, taken down by him. So I'm surprised. And we haven't seen any other videos. So I'm absolutely shocked at this point. But anyway, before we finish out, I did want to share this particular um, article from the papers out in Florida. Because there's been some interesting things happening in Broward County. Um, and the first one I kind of took a look at uh, was this one um, out of the Miami Herald. Let me make me smaller so you can take a better look at this uh, article. And it's about a couple who worked for the uh, deputy's office there. And they had been found guilty of bilking pandemic program. Now, if you take a look at the amounts of money... Um, that they are now uh, getting kind of in trouble for. It's not dissimilar for the amounts that our dear friend uh, Tim was borrowing. And Tim, I, if you really did falsify any information on these forms and you sent those forms over and used a fax machine, you literally are committing wire fraud. You understand that, don't you? So anyway, they are basically letting us know that this one person thought that she had got away with having stolen literally from the American taxpayers $21,000 from the Paycheck Protection Program. And there originally was a jury that did not reach a verdict. And she is one of many of these uh, sheriffs in this particular county, this one sheriff's office. There's 17 of them in this Broward Sheriff's Office who all committed. PPP fraud. And so it's obviously, it's quite significant because this is the law, you know, this is, these are supposedly the people who are upholding and protecting the laws. And it seems like they just was a free for all with all of this money. I mean, I felt like I got a little bit because I had a business, I kept my business going, but it was hampered due to the times I was using a nursing business and I wasn't able to get out and advertise and get to know people and expand my business as I had hoped to. So that's kind of, but I didn't take really anything and I was the only employee. So I'm just trying to figure out how did Tim manage to have tax statements and all of these things because I understood he had been unemployed for a year. So what business information was he going forward with if he had been drawing unemployment for a year and then went in to get all these loans for a business that he hadn't worked in for a year. How did he do that? I just, I'm just curious. I want to know what happened. I need to know because he's, he talks about it all anyway. So there was a new panel of jury jurors and they found this lady and her husband who were both employees of the sheriff's office, both guilty of the wire fraud and conspiracy charges. And she are one, this one says there's like 20 deputies here. I've heard 17, 20, uh, all involved in various PPP loan frauds for their own selves. Uh, some, they all went and posed as like business owners and sole proprietors and submitted, you know, fabricated PPP loan applications with other, you know, these loan preparers who were potentially on to the, you know, uh, little bit of it and probably getting maybe a potentially, allegedly, I don't know, but potentially maybe uh, kickbacks. Um, and then, you know, they got the proceeds. And this is, this is important because this is pretty much what Tim did with his money. He paid off debt 
and he bought liabilities like cars. Uh, they lied and they used it um, for their own personal uses. They spent the loans on themselves, which you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to do that. That's not what the loans were for. They weren't for you to pay off old debts and purchase cars. No, no, they were, so, they were supposed to be to, to, to take care of the payroll, to pay employees, to ensure your business could keep open. A business which you did not have at that time, Tim. So there was like a lieutenant there. Now, the other one that I did want to share too, because this is important, is the actual people involved in this PPP fraud. Some of them are actually going to prison. And the first person has just been sent uh, to prison for $31,000 in her pocket. Thirty-one. And I think Tim talked about money's up to $58,000. And I'm very curious about how he justified that on his paperwork. Like I said, I don't think that video is on his channel anymore. I don't think he's bragging. That's how he got all this stuff. So he's out here looking at these trucks that have $61,000 price tags. And, and I think it's very important to remember that uh, what he is using is money that he has thieved from the American people. That's money that Tim is using. So yes, I believe they have to pay the money back and they're getting potentially up to 10 months uh, in jail is what is being asked. And I think their attorneys are asking for less time, like four months. Uh, and I understand that they're trying to say that these are good, you know, law abiding citizens. But one of the folks, uh, the lieutenant took out $137,000 in what he said was a property business. So it's, it's pretty wild, uh, these, uh, COVID, uh, loan things. And I, I still think that Tim should be on the radar. He is paying back these loans to the SBA and they still will be having time to prosecute and they will still but i think this is just such a large group of people and then i think they've been getting people with very large amounts but they are having these folks pay back these sums of money but anyway all right guys i'm sort of dragging now <laughs> I'm getting a little tired so i do apologize but anyway if you did like this type of video do uh make sure to subscribe to the channel that's the best way to help show me support though we are getting ready to go in a new direction with the channel starting in november but anyway leave a comment maybe whether you think that uh people should go to jail for the pp frauds <laughs> leave obviously all the comments in the chat uh respectable you know obviously it's a very charged time of year at the moment, especially here in the United States. So I just say be mindful of that and mindful of those around you. And I will catch you on the next video. Take care. Bye. I was going to say bye if it'll let me end the video.